So if you watched last week's video, you'll know I ended on a cliffhanger of that. So this is what happens when you stick a Verti drainer through a brand new iPhone 15 Pro Max. I was using it as a torch to try and sort the Verti drainer out, jumped back into the tractor and just see a light going up and down. So at that point it couldn't have been smashed. But by the time I'd got out, take a look, it was straight through a time. A bit like that. But anyway, it is Saturday morning, just come into the yard, had to set up my new phone and I'm now going out verti draining. Boys have been at an NHS site this morning, but I'm going to get on the road and get to the first site. So I'm over at the football pitch that we are verti draining today. Just got one here, but it's still going to take a while. Just loading up the GPS and we'll get cracking with it. It was a pretty smooth journey over and I hope that the verti draining goes smooth as well. So this is our first time at this site with the GPS. We've been here before, but not with the GPS. So we're just plotting the boundary. So the GPS knows the limitations of this pitch. Once we've done that, I can just set my AB line. I'm just gonna set the center of the tractor up with the sideline, click the A, drive down it, and when I get to the other end, hit B. This is gonna give a datum point for the tractor. And as you can see, we're now on that and I can just carry on utilizing the GPS to do the verti draining. This site's mega boggy, it definitely needs verti draining. Look at the state of it, it also needs some grass seed on the pitch as well. Whee! I'm finally on the last row. It's taken about two hours and 45 minutes. Well, both ends of this pitch are mega tight, so I'm having to like three point turn every single row, which has obviously added some time. But anyway, a productive Saturday. Got around a 40 minute trip back to the unit after I leave here. And then a well earned rest for tomorrow, but I'm excited for the rest of the week. Should be a really, really good week. Temperatures are looking okay, and we're going up to Harrogate to BMTE. So we'll see you Monday. We're back, it's Monday morning. The lads are just getting the range ready and getting the trailer on it and they are off to do two schools and some line marking jobs and I am off in the verti drainer. So let's skip forward in the day and see what happens. So the boys are at their first site of the day, which is a school and they need to get all the line marking done and check the tidiness of the site. Need some weed spraying, so Ash gets that ready to get some spraying done as Rob gets all the line marking done. As he goes through the school, checking everywhere else. So I've just arrived on site. I had to grab fuel on my way over. And I've just spoke to Ash. He gave me a call to let me know that they are on site as well. A couple of pitches over there are mega wet, but they're going to try and do what they can. I've greased the verti drain up. We've got the GPS loaded, good to go. We've got four pitches to do it, and hopefully I can do it all today. But let's get over to the first pitch, get the verti drain on the ground and get on with it. So I'm seizing a day and starting my first pitch out of three and you can see the difference between this one and we did on Saturday and that is the difference between routine maintenance. This is verti drained often and the other, well it wasn't. But anyway, as I'm cracking on with this, the lads are over at the next school site doing the line marking, doing all of the bits that they can do. But whilst they're there, I'm obviously going to be verti draining all day. Now the good thing about this site is two of the pitches are lined up. So this pitch here is at the bottom of another pitch. So when the tractor comes off of that pitch, I can just go through the middle bit straight onto the next one. So we're essentially doing two at once, which is lovely. That compared with the GPS is making light work of things. It's just going to be dull. Now the lads are all done at their site, so they can move on to the next one. Okay, a little bit of a situational update with me. Had a bit of a nightmare with the GPS. It wasn't locking on about halfway through one of the pitches, but I kept it steady. And as you know, we feature all of the good and bads about everything on this channel. So one, the GPS failed, but Elliot from ERH, where we got the navigation system from, replied straight away on the text told me a few things to check, spoke to RTK Net, which are the provider of our login, and it was sorted within about five minutes. So you cannot ask for a service better than that. So Elliot, I don't know if you watch videos about grounds maintenance. I know you prefer your farming YouTubes. However, thank you yet again, mate. Always a fantastic service. And if you are looking for a GPS kit, whether it's on a sprayer, a tractor or whatever, you can stick one on. Make sure you speak to ERH and I can definitely recommend CHC Nav also. Cracking on with it nicely. It's uh, so much better doing two pitches at once. But I have forgotten my headphones today, so 
trying to keep myself sane is a bit of a nightmare. But yeah, thank you very much Elliot, you're a superstar. So one of the new features that I mentioned last week from Llama, new CHC release, is this U-turn feature. We can just hit a button and either skip a row or go next to the adjacent row, which is making life a lot easier. All I've got to do is drop the implement and turn it on. The only problem is though, this doesn't help with my boredom. So now I have to find things to do because CHC is doing it all for me. So I'm either eating my lunch or checking up on work emails and sending invoices. But most of the time I'm just sat here in boredom. But anyway, the lads are over at the next site now and this is the site that we attempted to mow last week and we couldn't. But the ground is looking good, so the hustler is out for its maiden voyage of 2024 with Ash at the helm keeping it straight and well, getting it mucky again. Okay, we're getting on with it well now. As I mentioned before, we're doing two pitches at the same time. We've got around 15 meters of width left, so we should be done fairly soon. I have caught up with Ash and they're getting on really well and they're coming over to this site to line mark it when they're finished. Now every time we feature the Verti drainer I always get comments saying we need to buy a new Verti drainer, that one's too small, blah blah blah. Let me tell you this, that has already made its money 10 times over and yes I probably do need a wider Verti drainer and something with a little bit more features in order for us to be more efficient. I just can't justify spending that money yet. However, I just want to thank, I think we've got four people that have signed up for Cut Crew members. If you don't know what that is, you can basically be a member on our YouTube channel, which gives you early access to videos, enables you to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with me. So if you've got any questions about your business or how to make it more efficient, you can ask that. And in the future, we are going to be doing free giveaways to people that are members. So even if 50% of you signed up to be a YouTube member, it only costs 99p a month for Cut Crew Limited. In around two to three months, we'd be able to get a bigger Verti drainer. So yeah, think of us. And if you can spare 99 pence a month and support our YouTube channel, I would mega appreciate it. But as I said, in the future, I do want to start giving stuff away to the members of Cut Crew YouTube. But anyway, I'm just out stretching the legs whilst CHC Navigation Systems doing all the work. And then hopefully we can tie these two pictures up fairly quickly. The link will be in the description if you want to become a member, by the way. Love you. So I'm now on my last pass with the Verti Drainer. Happy days, which just means I can move over to the next one. And there we have it. On to the last pitch at this site. It's currently half 12. The lads haven't been over to line mark this yet. So I wonder how they're getting on. But we've probably got another two to three hours here, haven't we? But I just get on with it going up and down. So Ash and Rob are now on site and uh, Ash has given me a quick call. This is the site where I got the van stuck and he's asked me to come over in the tractor. Might be one one situation here you know. Anyway let's go over there and find out. Oh the tow bar's out. That can only mean one thing. <laughs> It's stuck. I think they call that one all. <laughs> it's a draw. Is it my turn next? <laughs> So the big red Massey comes to save the day again. We get it towed out, no problems at all. What you like, eh? Happens to the best of us, doesn't it? Hey. <laughs> Getting stuck is all part of this job in the winter. It's how you get out of it that counts. But anyway, I'm back verti draining and Ash is whizzing round on the trike to get the four pictures here marked out. He's now on the pitch that I'm on and I've given the go ahead to get her striped up. We're working efficiently as a team together, marking it out and verti draining all in one hit. When the lads are done here, they'll all be done for the day so they can get back to the unit, get all of the kit packed up whilst I'm here verti draining as per usual. But I'm done now, so happy days. Tuesday morning and we are on the road on the way up to BMTE at Harrogate Convention Centre. Obviously we're on the M1 so there is 
traffic. Hopefully going to be a good day. I don't know whether we're going to do a standalone video for BMTE or not. Feel the atmosphere when we're there, but we'll try and get some footage for Behind the Blade for this week and uh, show you what it's all about. But let's get up there, see what the crack is. So we make the three hour journey over to BMTE and we finally arrive in Harrogate. We're at BMTE, aren't we boys? <laughs> So it definitely wasn't what we thought it was going to be. There were a couple of stands that we enjoyed and we managed to find refuge in them, having good conversations about new kit that is coming out this year. However, it's mostly of the same. So we stuck to what we knew and enjoyed. And well, so we're going. Well, we've been here. So we've been here about an hour and 45 minutes, spent most of that on the crest stand. And I can't remember who it was, but someone put in the comments up, we probably wouldn't enjoy BMTE. And you're absolutely correct. 90% of the stands were selling grass seed or fertilizer and there was about four mowers. So don't think we'll probably come back here again, but yeah, it was nice to get out for the day and uh, it's raining back home, so we wouldn't have done anything anyway. So now a three hour drive back. Yay, fun. It's Wednesday and after a disappointing day at BMTE yesterday I'm back in the tractor verty draining. Doesn't really matter about yesterday, I'm glad I went up and I'm glad we experienced it. We still met some fantastic people and we couldn't work anyway because the weather was so awful back at home. So I'm verty draining all day, I've got four pitches that I need to get done and potentially a 9v9 as well depending on time and weather. And the lads are out conducting line marking and they've also got a few residential so let's catch up with them. So the lads are on site at one of our football clubs so they can get the paint mixed up and the trike out of the van and start making a dent in the pitches here. They've got 10 pitches to do, all various sizes, ranging from 11v11s all the way down to 5v5s. But they're in control of it. With the fleet paint, it's starting to look fantastic and I cannot wait to get all of these sites striped up in March. Let's just hope that it's a dry one so we can get all of our sites looking fantastic. And I'm just finishing up on the last straight with the Verti Drainer where I am. The lads are done so they move over to their residential job starting off by blowing down all of the hard standings. We need to also get all of the leaves off of the lawns and they are starting to look fantastic. Once all the lawns are done, they concentrate on the drive and get everything looking spick and span. We're getting there with a verti draining. I'm around two thirds done on the next pitch. Just taking it mega easy. The ground definitely needs it here, but it should make really good improvements. Another pitch down, one more to go, and then a 9v9. Still got a fair bit of work to do, haven't we? And it's currently three o'clock. So the navigation system's definitely gonna be working in the darkness. Day. But I just keep chipping away at it, working as we go, and they're starting to look good as it gets darker and darker and darker. But luckily, we've got the GPS, eh? And I'm finally back at the unit. It is late. Now, Ash is off for the next couple of days. He's got some holiday booked, so tomorrow's just going to be me and Rob, and we shall see you in the morning. It's Wednesday morning and we have started the day off with a beautiful breakfast. This morning I got into the unit early. And the reason for that is we're starting to put strobe warning kits on all the vehicles and the mowers. Just got the van done today. So yeah, that's looking good. Front and back rear strobes just for any parish council work we're doing or any site work where we may need warning beacons. But we're now on site. It's very drizzly this morning. And we've got a lot to get on with. So we start off by getting all of our kit out and this is going to be the first time we get to use the Crest mower. So we get the battery in it and we get cracking. I've already strimmed the edges up so it's ready for a mow. Getting those stripes down with the Crest mower and what a fantastic machine it is to use. Quite surprised at how quick it is and I'm very surprised at how efficient and powerful it is. But what a fantastic machine it is indeed. And it's definitely helping us out here because of the office blocks, we can't make too much noise. So as I'm cracking on with this, Rob's just blowing up all the surfaces, keeping it clean and tidy as we go. Job done, all done out the front. So we've done all around the front of the building. We've got the mowing done with the Crest battery mower. Absolutely fantastic bit of kit. Mega impressed with that. It's our first time using it. There will be a review video on it. Rob is currently out on the bank with the flail and I am on hold to HMRC. Thank you. 
okay we've had a bit of a nightmare the flail belt spat itself and obviously i was trying to speak to him at hmrc and do like 10 things at once we had people calling and all that stuff back on the road now flails on the bank i'm gonna grab a strimmer and go help rob so we start off by tidying the last area that we need to on this site moving on from the last contractor we've had to phase each element but we're finally on top of it once the flailing's done we're hoping we can maintain these areas with the right however we've always got the flail in the back pocket if we need it we've managed to tackle it today and we've still got a few wildlife areas that we've implemented so those areas haven't been cut but all the areas that we do want cut have been done so we can now walk the flail back to the van and get everything packed away for the day Friday morning you join us after I left you at Primark yesterday after Primark had lots of uh, quotes to do and we also fitted the lights to the Ranger so now all of the mowers and vehicles have got the safety beacons on it's just a tick box really some sites were technically meant to have them so we just thought we'd tick that box and get that done uh, this morning is my busiest morning of the month, admin wise, got payroll to sort out, etc. All of that good stuff. So it's been a busy one this morning in the unit on the laptop. We're now loading up the trailer to go out line marking. And we've also got to go analyze some pictures today for a potential quote. So yeah, we'll get on the road and get on with it. Right, we are on site, first site of the day. It is just a pitch inspection. It's one of our contracts. So we're just going to check all the line marking and then I need to relay to the customer whether the pictures are playable for the weekend or not. It is looking good up here. This is one of the sites, well, this is the site that I smashed my phone at. So we've uh, just virty drained it. Everything is looking very good. We hit the nail on the head with the temperatures, obviously. We were just coming out of a frost spell when we virty drained it, but it's all safe and it's looking very good. So yeah, it doesn't need line marking by the looks of it. and we can let the customers know that the pitches are playable. On to the next one. So the next site's also looking fantastic. It doesn't need marking, but we are going to be over here next week getting some verti draining done. Jack, hello mate. Hello young man. How are you? This is being recorded. Being recorded, bloody yeah. hell. Um, Better wash me tongue then, hadn't I? I've got a synthetic pitch, 4G pitch. Yeah. I need um, red paint. Is that something Fleet do? It is, yes. Uh, my only question would be, um, sort of, uh, what, what, what's the time scale on it, mate? Only reason being, obviously, with the weather the way it is, cold, wet, etc. Normally, the sort of thing people do... You know, well, summertime ideally, but certainly between Easter and October. No, that's um, fine. It's just for it's just for quoting purposes at the minute. Quoting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, mate. Yeah. So. Right. Next inspection has been done. We just had a quick walk around. The lines probably do need doing. However, it's a site that we've just verti drained, and it's still mega wet. So the lines are playable. Um, so we're going to come back here early next week and get it line marked. And now we are on the way to a pitch inspection for some renovation works. So we'll go take a look at it. We'll have to advise the customer what we believe they need to resolve the issues that they're currently facing and then go from there. But let's head over there and see what the crack is there. So we're over at the pitch inspection and we're gonna be looking at the overall health of the pitch. And if there's any renovations that need doing, we will then give them and provide a review of the pitch and give them three options as to what we believe could be done. But there's definitely some work that is needed here. So we are back at the unit. All the kit is unpacked from today. Today was one of those days where we were basically just going around inspecting pitches. But the last inspection we did was a quote and it's triggered me to kind of set up a template for a pitch report. So when we get these in the future, it doesn't necessarily have to be me to go and we can set up some kind of template that is basically yes or no questions, which will help the quote process or potentially we could just send it out to the customers. Kettle's boiled, ready for the coffee. Uh, I think it will streamline it and also um, I'm also going to compile a list of all the local FAs and approach them this afternoon. So let's jump on the laptop, see what we come up with and I will show you it. Okay, so I've created a little bit of a pitch analysis report. It's all with drop downs and text boxes. So whoever's doing the report can literally 
just follow it as it goes. It's pretty self-explanatory. Obviously, we can export this to a PDF and then send it to the client to make it look nice and tidy and professional. But let me just show you what we've got so far. So as you can see here, it's just mega basic. I need to make it look a little bit more professional, but it will do for now. So we've got our drop downs for grass coverage with all the options and all the other options that we're going to be assessing with comments on each. And also for quotation purposes, I'll also pick questions as to what's needed. So for example, drainage required, no, just needs vertical drainage or it needs a full drainage install. So it should make it fairly easy for the future. And I think it will save a lot of time of me having to recall everything for quotes. And also we'll be able to send this out throughout the team. So if there are any issues on any pictures, anyone can fill this out basically, and then it can be quoted up after. So hopefully that helps. It's been a bit of a mad week. Um, although we've been very lucky with the weather, we've had to navigate through that as well, just off the tail end of all the heavy rain we had last week. But yeah, I'm feeling really good. It's February next month, so we're literally four weeks away from grass cutting now, which is absolutely mental. But I don't believe I can add anything more to this video. I'm literally just going to be doing admin for the next hour or so. Then I'm going to have an early day and go home. We're off this weekend as well, which is an absolute lovely touch. But yeah, let me know in the comments how your week's been, what you've been up to. would love to hear all your stories. Let me know if there's any video ideas you want us to cover or if you've got any questions. Obviously, hit that subscribe button and we shall see you in the next video. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye!